Well, see what happened when you plan it right. Careful planning it really does pay. You know, when I setting up my uh, HKS blow off valve, I said it's kind of in the way of all the thermostat housing and the radiator hose that I don't have or uh, there's no need for me to remove it. Remove this whenever I'm working on that area. And it's perfect. I just got done my water cooling lines for my turbo. And now I have an additional project that I've been wanting to do this for a long time. And this is for my uh, IACB. Just the hose. I want to put a fitting on this. That's the next project. I have another set here that I can mess around with. And I just ordered two fittings. This is a 6AN to a one quarter NPT. And I have a top here. And I've got some uh, various uh, uh, end fittings that I can use. So I think it shouldn't, it shouldn't be that hard of a project. So I just need to remove this and uh, I'm gonna use a 716 uh, drill bit. find out Okay. Go back and forth because of all the debris. All right. good let me clean this up before I try it I don't have a uh, liquid Teflon so I'm just gonna use the all-time favorite this will do the same Just remove the Teflon tape. Probably don't need to. Maybe I need to uh, go down some more, I think.
Yeah, that's much better. Okay. That should be good. Should not leak, but it's better to uh, give it a little protection in the future. Hmm, that's no bueno. It's heating that. To grind, need to grind a little bit. Something like this. I've been wanting to uh, to do this on my H22. You know, like that banjan clamp. So I'm I'm really glad I did it. Now I can say I did it. Okay. All right, guys. There I go. Now I have an AM fitting on my thermostat housing. Now I'm just gonna change that one and put the thermostat uh, over here. Cool. I am gonna uh, wash this up get all the uh, powder and all that see what I mean if my uh, blow off valve is in this area I have to uh, get this into the cooler charge piping out it's not like that it's a it's hard to do. Remember, I got a quick disconnect, but still, I don't have to uh, touch it or anything. I'm gonna pull the intake manifold. That way, I could uh, change the hose. This one, I'll just give it some extra. 
I can always cut it. Yeah. Yeah, I can always cut this thing. But here, it's better to be more than than less. Okay. I hope that's the same. Uh, I hope that's the uh, correct length. Put some lube on the o-ring and also over here just to make it uh, easier to slip on because that thing is uh, have a tendency of uh, getting kink and once it, you kink that seal rings that's it it's gonna leak on you. neighbor is mowing his lawn so pardon the noise okay hey the other one looks okay yeah it's perfect right there now this one be right here. far it's really really far <laughs> yeah the small one is not bad but on a dash 16 oh my god man okay I think I got it almost there this one now like I said if you have a, a lube or a WT-40 I just sprayed some uh, WD 40 on there it makes it a lot easier okay yeah one of these days I'll be investing on getting those uh, ranges the aluminum ranges Now I have to align the corners. Make sure how flat. 
think one more, one more turn. Yeah. Got the blue tape got stuck on there. Oh well, it'll burn off. Just like that. All right. That is not bad at all. Yeah. Well, see what happened when you plan it right. Careful planning it really does pay. You know, when I setting up my uh, HKS blow off valve, I said it's kind of in the way of all the thermostat housing and the radiator hose that I don't have, or uh, there is no need for me to remove it. Remove this whenever I'm working on that area. Base off, perfect. All right, guys, that's it for this. For my thermostat housing with AN-6 fitting for my IACV. Alright guys, I'll see you guys in the next episode. Bye everyone. Have a good day. Take care.